Back you, baby. I'm so happy today to be in the presence of my brothers right now. Oh, man. It's, you know. it's always an organic environment. You know, we had an iconic sit down. A lot of the industry people truly enjoyed the interaction of that sit down amongst the four of us, even though Ghost was on the camera. Absolutely. What's up, SO? Oh, so I'm chilling, man. Just ready to get just ready to get he's ready, he's ready, yes, he's ready to turn up. Yeah. <laughs> Sean Bigger. Yeah. Well, as you know, since you guys helped me out, that was something really major for me. Read the inspirational to my heart. Mm -hmm. You know, um, y'all assisted me with being here right now. And I yeah. really want to you know, give y'all my thanks. I really appreciate you guys. And, and you helped us out a lot. You know, people didn't truly hear the story, what had happened with Esso and myself in Space Ghost. I think it was a different contextualized situation seeing all three of us on camera sit down and express, you know, our journey of how things unfolded. Now, before we get into things, I do want to say something. Mm -hmm. um, as I always let the people know, I'm a work in progress and I make mistakes and I've made mistakes. So I want to sincerely give you guys an apology for something. Mm. During the time that we was involved with mm -hmm. that other thing, I think that um, I was overcame by certain feelings at certain times and certain moments. You know what I'm saying? As I said, I never got anything. I never got a contract. I never got anything. And I was there before everybody. And um, at times, I said, I refer to you guys as sheep. And I was wrong for that, you know? It's being blown out of context by someone, but nevertheless, it shouldn't have been referred. And I'm man enough to be able to say to you guys that I'm sorry. That's not, was, wasn't my intentions the way the person tried to pan it out right now. Mm -hmm. But I want you to understand that um, I'm a sheep as well, but I'm a lion as well. Jesus was as cheap as well, but he was also a lion. So I think the person is blowing it a little bit out of context of what I meant. A sheep is someone who is willing to follow and willing to take, you know, willing for someone to take the lead. Mm. That's what I meant yeah. when I was referring to that. In our old situation, a lot of the things that might have stopped me from being in position is that I was not willing to just follow. I was just not willing to be led. I mean, give yourself some grace. Uh, a lot, you and Esso really are the two that came last into this digital world. So you had to learn how to use social media in real time, how to perform on camera in real time, give your thoughts out where you guys have been successful outside of this realm. So of course, in tri by trial and error, and you're putting your own face and vibe out there, and people who want to be in this world, all they can do is criticize because they see the courage you two individuals are putting out there. So mistakes are gonna be done when essentially you're trying to teach a toddler how to be a marathon runner, when everybody had the chance to learn how to walk before all of that. So. And I think one of the major problems I had back then was it was aware, it was made aware I always, I had this idea before all of this. Mm -hmm. You know, when I first started watching YouTube, I knew that I wanted to kind of do something, you know? So it was never encouraged or helped or assisted with me. Mm -hmm. And you guys, I watched it being assisted with, even forced. And that kind of, at the time, yeah, that, you know, I didn't under, you know, I didn't under, I understood it, but you know, mm -hmm. it was hard. It was a hard pill to swallow. Like, you know, you forcing something on somebody when here it is, I'm your right hand man, and I'm telling you, 
it's me, you know, like help me. And it wasn't being helped. So again, you know, I apologize for anything like that because yeah. I, it is, sheep is not a negative thing, again, as you put, because we're all actually kind of sheep in this world. But, you know, some of us have lying in us and, you know, um, you know, I always knew that, yeah, I'm, I wasn't looking to just be a sheep. I knew I was a lion. I knew I wanted to create a platform that helped us all. Mm -hmm. It was never about just me, but I wanted to create, you know, my own platform, you know, Get it. and I wasn't assisted with that. So I just want to put that out there. I hope you guys, you know, can understand and accept the Listen, apology. Man. I'm man enough to face y'all before, you know, anything and put that out there, you know, because that's important in life. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes we all make, you know, mm -hmm. make errors. And I see now that that was an error because you guys helped me and the one that was supposed to be my right hand man gave me no assistance whatsoever. Didn't even tell me what a life of you meant. You know what I'm saying? Didn't even tell me anything. But and like you guys came out of nowhere and y'all was there for me. And um, I think the world got that really confused about like, uh, I saw some of the comments like, oh, how did I sit down with you guys or something like that, and, you know. First of, all, first of all, it was the, that was, that whole entire thing was painted the wrong way. Mm. And I was consistent with that. If you saw on the show, I never agreed with what took place with you guys, you mm. know. So that was off top. So that whole picture was painted in a light that, you know, I wasn't in agreement with. And then when the fallout happened, you was the first guy that was there, you know, to say bigger, you know what I'm saying? We'll help you, you know what I'm saying? We'll show you the ropes, we'll help you with your show and everything like that. And, and Without you guys, yeah. I mean, the first show I did, which y'all allowed me to put that on my platform, mm -hmm. and that allowed me to monetize, and I didn't. And y'all explained things that I needed to know, and that means a lot to me. You know what I'm saying? And, and I just and want since to... then, you've maintained your momentum. Exactly. You you had Dr. Umar Johnson on your show, despite the negativity and the positivity. That's still impactful for the future of your channel and the uh, longevity of your content. You know, most people ain't gonna be able to get those types of interactions, so. Yeah, but I just, before we even start out, I just wanna get that out of the way. I appreciate you know what I'm saying? So does, I, yeah. you know, I love you guys, and I appreciate everything you've done, to, done and, for me. And we've always said on every other platform, you and Mecca fought to keep the whole unit together, not because you had issues with your brothers, more because we understood chemistry and momentum in the potentiality of history. As men, we all, every man wants to leave a historic mark on this planet and you rarely get so many opportunities. And the five, the six of us knew like this was gonna be a historic moment, you know, and the, at the age we are, you know, when those moments are gone, it might take another 20 years to get I'm them. over it. Yeah, yeah, that's it. I, I mean, I'm yeah. over it too. Yeah, I'm, but that, that's just yeah. what it is. Yeah. It was a stepping stone. That's, Thank you. At this point, and... Actually, a learning experience. Yeah, that's For it. me, you know, a learning experience. And it's, it gave us experience, it gave us understanding, and now we all moving forward. And we can move right on forward. Yeah. <laughs> Mm. That's in the rear view. Uh, but apparently you, you've been getting a lot of daggers and bows and arrows at you. Yeah. Um, Welcome to the troll world. I guess so. That's uh, something I'm still Question. getting used is it, to. Is the Dr. Umar negativity way more toxic than when you had your situation with Smith & Wesson? Because a lot, of, that was a very viral moment. Um. No, I don't think so, because I think on the low key, most of the people did feel what I felt, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? With, so 
a lot of people at, you know, kind of sat in agreement with me that mm -hmm. let's tell the truth. We, you know, that was of our age category. Mm -hmm. We did feel like that. Big is not lying. So even that was different. The few people that might have been like, oh, he's bugging out or something like that or, you know, anything like that, that was just, you know. Yeah. That was minute to me. I got so much more phone calls from their own peoples, from, mm -hmm. you know, so many people that said, no, you was right, bro. You know, that, you know, we all felt like that. You know, even when we went on Drink Champs, Noriega even said that bigger, you know, we, you know, I kind of felt like that too. So it was something that was, you know, it was known that if you was from that time, that that's what was felt. Someone that wasn't from that time can't describe what was the feeling mm -hmm. in 1995, 94, when, you know, I think that was 95 when Around we now. heard that, you know, maybe 96, between 95 and 96, when we heard that record and it seemed like, you know, shots was being taken at us. But I think it went over a lot of people here because no one ever caught what I was saying, that that was coming from an 18 year old perspective, you know, mm -hmm. that was a whole different time. I believe that if um, Tupac was alive now and at the age that we have grown to now, he would be sitting in agreement with me, you know, that if he could have avoided that whole situation, he would have probably did it different. Look what it really turned out to. It didn't turn out good for, you know, neither one of those brothers. Um. When you sat down with Umar, do you feel like there's any certain things you wish you not get back, but different angles you would have with the exchange of dialogue between y'all two? No, no. Um, the dialogue was extremely needed. Everybody have to choose their choice eventually. You know, we all have to choose what side we on. Some, and that is what. I was bringing forth to the table. Most people reacted off a clip of yeah, a five right. hour interview. Yeah. It was an eight minute clip that I got most of those reactions on. So no one even known what triggered me. If people watch me and was really keeping up with me, they know I'm the type that usually is quiet until I'm triggered. So obviously when you watch the full interview, you will see that when that clip was played, it was something that had triggered me into that. I sat quiet for 37 minutes exactly before that clip. So you talked to Dr. Umar Johnson for five hours? Five hours. That's crazy. So if he, mm. with that alone, he's never did an interview that I've seen for five hours. So if yeah. he thought that I was this idiot fool and you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying and how they try to drag me on the internet. I don't think that man would have stayed here for it. You know, no, no, but why do you worry about what they say on, on YouTube and on the net? Like what why you worried about it? It, it because you know, SO me and you come from a different type of world. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That I know you know. <laughs> you know, that's hard to Bite when you know what I'm saying. When, I don't even don't even look. Yeah, you know when what he's saying. The people, back in the day before the internet, when people would talk, yeah, would but that, but but that's why you don't even look because yeah. it's it's not it's not the same thing. It's like a dude talked to me. A dude called me yesterday, and he was like, "I'm trying to have the same impact that um, Fifty had in our rap." And I said, and this was no slight to him. He understood me. It wasn't. I said, "You don't even drop records like Fifty drop records." Right, Fifty was dropping mixtapes. Boom, it was a whole different. It was a whole different time. They were selling CDs. There wasn't no net selling music and stuff like that. Then you got Fifty. He signed to Eminem and Dr. Dre. So you got all of these things. Then he had to get shot and almost lose his life on on top of that. You got all of these things <laughs> that made Fifty Cent. You just can't turn around and be Fifty Cent. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Be yourself. So, yeah, so but, mm. all, but, all, but all of these different things, they just take time, right? And knowing that you're growing and knowing what you gotta do, watching and looking at comments of while you're while you're having growth is not has never been positive. I, I seen one really positive comment, because even when people talk to you about positivity, you don't know them. It could be bullshit. It it it, it, it doesn't matter. One girl said, yo, I really love this nigga talking about me, but I wish he would get his teeth fixed. 
That's the only positive comment that I had. You know why? Because she was right. I, I I knew what I had to do, and I and I went from that point and said, you know what? I'm listening to this girl, and I'm gonna spend my money to go get my teeth fixed. That's the only positive comment, and that was actually negative. But the way she put it, it was positive because she gave me credit and was like, I just wish he would do this because if I'm gonna be on TV and I'm gonna be watching this nigga, it would be nice if he got his fucking teeth fixed. That's the only comment I got. I think you know from Vega sitting down when he first started and being quiet and picking his spots. And then as he got comfortable with us, and, and now that's like a quick 180. Now you're, you're doing the throne room, the bigger picture. Everything is high octane. I can understand him like trying to see all the feedback and learning. I think over time, we, we know the character of who he is. There's, one day he's just gonna be like, I don't care. It's so fresh and brand new to him. It's gonna be a day he's like, I don't read that shit. You don't think you can see why he do it because that's what you do? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, I'm, just, I'm just saying. No, but here's the that, difference. That's what but you do. Like... But I don't let it cripple me. I don't let it do anything. Like, you see how you can pick out which ones make sense? You like the teeth one? You know 99% of it is bullshit. It, it is what it is. I've done this for years. Like, oh, my God. I got. If you're going to jump out the window for every comment, you're finished. You're finished. That's just re really what it is. Bigger got the notifications on his phone. Yeah, I mean, but he's still learning how to. What people don't understand. I don't know how to. That's turn every comment. No, no, that's all I'm saying. No, that's every I'm, comment. But you gotta understand. I'm trying to get to the point of he. He's like you with the technology thing. There was things I had to show him with the grant. He's gonna have to have somebody come in, recater it for him. He probably doesn't have anybody to do it, and uh, and. Now that we know the type of businesses he runs and all the time on his phone, he don't even got time to even try to figure out how to work his phone outside of the standard business he's running. Just like the shit you deal with from the management standpoint of bag fuel, this and that. There's certain shit you're like, I'm not dealing with this on a content digital level. And I get it. I get it. This shit ain't no manual to this. Yeah, absolutely. And, um, I've heard the same thing everybody tells me, including my wife, including the space goes bigger. Don't pay attention yeah. to the comments. You know, don't I think over there. time you, it's gonna be like irrelevant to you. Like, Angela I, Yee paid attention to the comments and she had to stop. And we spoke to her. I was like, why would you why was you looking at everybody for some reason and everybody that pays attention to the comments can't take it? That'd be the bad part about it. I'm the one that don't give a fuck. And when I'm looking at to see the money we making, it'll be three comments there, two comments. That's how I see it from YouTube studio. I never even go on YouTube. So I don't see the mass abundance of comments. I might see one or two. And now for me in 2024, I said, I'm, even, I'm not even responding to the doo-doo heads. I'm not even looking at their comments. I'm on my own mission right now. But what you said, if it wasn't for YouTube studios, I wouldn't see them. Like. I'm not actively looking for that shit. Like, you know, somebody might point point it out. That's just a fact. Like, I don't look at it. I'm not sitting here capping. I, the gram, like even Angela said, it's hard because you're getting the notification. You might see one, but overall, niggas don't really look for that shit. You ain't, you're so focused on being the best who you trying to be. That all that other shit is irrelevant after a while. I've done this for years. Like, ain't much people can tell me they haven't said 10 years ago, it's the same shit. Doesn't mean anything when you erase the comments. Um, it can be perceived as emotional, depending on what the comment is. I think certain comments should be erased if they're mentioning your children, or if it's certain language about family or potential, like, um, like certain things in regards to your business, intimate knowledge, that can be erased. But if they're saying, I don't like your shirt, let it fly. I don't erase no comment. No, I, yeah. I, I don't erase no one I, I comment. remember I was at This Is 50 and somebody put up a very personal comment. I had to get them to take it down. They put like really critical information because somebody knew something from a job that I had and they put that in there. And I was like, yo, what? But other than that, no. Let, let it fly. Absolutely. I understand. Let the people express themselves the same way you get to express yourself. I understand. Can I actually, can I actually say something about that? Mm -hmm. I think that um, uh, we're working with Bigger. I see that 
he also has a genuine connection to people that mm. comment on his content. Um, he shared something with us that, you know, with uh, Ghost and, and myself and his wife while we were sitting down um, having dinner with they, one day and um, we were all like, like baffled, you know what I mean? At the type of connection and how he puts himself out there, makes himself available to the people that are watching him. Nah, and, big, you gotta chill with that. And, and, <laughs> I, told, I told him about it. Yeah, right. he did. I don't know nothing but, about but, it. But you gotta chill yeah, with that. Yeah, I was, I was like, was, he did what? No, but it was a. Oh yeah, so he yeah, did tell I, you. Oh, I, yeah, it was I, amazing. I, I, I don't know about Dude, that. that was an amazing story. I'm like, right. how would that happen? And I think, and I think that's part of like the genuineness that he has um, to be to engage with people that that actually watch him and the message that he tries to put across and how it's perceived to the general public and what and and the good that's coming from him in order in order for them you know that's in order lot, to put it out. That's there. a lot to worry about, bro. And, and when you're just trying to be on camera and convey your message because the whole thing about it is. You don't know your approach or what it's going to be that's going to convey your message. Just because you're talking to a nigga for a long time don't mean they're listening. Don't mean you're giving them attention. Like, your delivery to me, this is my philosophy, on this camera, I'm, I'm, I'm one that gets to be myself. If I didn't get a chance, if I couldn't be myself and people liked the way I talk, I couldn't do this. I couldn't be nobody else. You, you know what I'm saying? So they, they got to get what they're going to get from me. Yeah, some people you're going to see on the DM, they're going to catch your eye. You might be bored one day or something like that, but yeah, there's no way a stranger is getting into my my thought process or going as far as to try to help them out and lead them any way. You really want me to help you out that much? It's a $2,000 consultation. Come holler at me, mm -hmm. and I help you. This is a business. This ain't fucking personal. You know what I'm saying? There's so two. I, I I see what you're saying, and I agree with you. But there's there's also two parts to that. Mm -hmm. What's you know the what other saying? part? Like, the other part is is your the the generosity that you have towards seeing and helping somebody else. There's, there's, get, oh, oh, look, 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 look. You're a creative. I, I already could tell, right? This is business. I, you already getting free information. How much do you want from me? You want the free information? and you want my time, and you want my guidance, you want to talk to me in the DM, what the fuck are we talking about here? That's a consultation. Can I help you? If you, if you really want it that bad, what we're doing, what we're paying to do, this is free. Log on to YouTube, get the app, and run it up. How about this, too? <clears throat> to add on to his point, he'll give gifts, clothes, a lot of things. I, he's given more to the subscribers and fans than any other person I know. He'll put care packages together. Certain people that are really supporters of the program. He'll he'll, he'll mail it out. So you, yeah. So even though people want this type of standard, keep giving more of yourself. He's giving more value and in interaction and connectivity with with the audience than any other creator that we know of. I, I, and I'm, I'm the one to talk to him, but I'm telling you, it goes too far. It, 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 go, it goes too... Do you too, feel like you're being abused? It, it, it goes too mm. far. We, we already create a whole nother platform, a, 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 a bar cliff that you could try to be on. If you got something moving, cool, we'll let you on. If you ain't got shit moving, cool, you got to pay. That's for the young niggas. Then they want to be on my allhiphop.com list. Then they want to be <laughs> on Bag Feud. Yo, relax, bro. Yo, can I ask you a question in, in, in the DM? Yo, you got 15 minutes. No, my nigga, no. My time is money. This ain't my time to help you How about, all day me, so you can go make money. Let me flip it to you. <laughs> you see everything you've done to, to help, help set up the bigger picture? Imagine a dude wanting to talk to you for one hour about your setup. No, one hour? No, I this, need you to go, yo, can you call me on FaceTime? Yes. And can you look at my shit? And, do and can everything. you guide me through my session and set up? And he's going to look at you and say, but you helping me. Yeah. Then no, my nigga. Him, call Get Bigger on the phone. I need you to also plug in how he gets all his securities. I need it for free. Yes. Make sure they got the banana clips and the hollow points. Because yes. when I'm rich, I'm going to put everybody on. This is the talk we're talking about here. This so is that's the bullshit. Like, yeah. That's one part of it, though. Is, I, I, this, I hear what you're saying, no. but that's always one part of it. That's, we're a, not that's talking always about, the part of it. That, but there's another part where mm -hmm. you also have to consider the, the, the message that's being sent out 
and mm -hmm. what how it's being received and how that message is now helping somebody or not helping them. And that's what that's the engagement that we're talking sir, about. Sir. We're not we're not talking wait, hold, hold on. We're not talking about we're not talking about somebody like reaching out and asking or 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 feeling like they're entitled to some sort of information that can help them get better. We're talking about information that's put out when when genuinely like spiritually helping somebody out. You know you understand what I'm saying? Sir. Yeah, good. What about me? <laughs> what about me? <laughs> Everything you're telling me is about everybody else. What about me? What about what I'm getting? You telling me about everything that you're going to be getting. What am I getting from that? Satisfaction? That's it? That's because that's all you're describing to me. Is, is, is I, I'm going to get satisfaction from helping miscellaneous motherfuckers, is what you're telling me. Is, is what I'm supposed to get. And that's not enough for me. That's not fair for the person who's putting their time and their work in to come and put on a camera. We drove I, 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 I would have come here, gas, tolls, whatever. But then if somebody wants to turn around and ask me, like, yo, can you do this? Can you? No, the fuck I can't. You know how I found out? I spent my money. I, I went to college. I traveled. I politics. I built relationships. I stayed in the studio for fucking 40 days straight. I've traveled. I'm driven from the top of California on down. I'm driven across the, across the country doing promo tours. I, I learned about promo marketing. I managed for 25 years. So now when somebody asks me the question, I got to give them all the stuff that I paid for, that I fought for, that I fought for. A nigga tried to kill me in, tw in 2001. So I was supposed to just give all this stuff to a motherfucker I don't know. Yes. All right, so, so let me ask you a question. Let me, let me, let, yes, absolutely. So let me, ask you, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. From a spiritual standpoint, somebody comes up to you mm. and just asks you, yo, I just need some words of encouragement, bro. Just help me out. Just say something to help me Look away from the cliff I'm about to jump off of. Tell me about the nigga. You're gonna tell. You're gonna wait. Hold on. 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 You're gonna, gonna charge me for for giving me something inspirational in order for me to jump that, off. I don't charge for that. No. That's, that's what I'm saying. No, but you're not asking. But, that, me, no, but no, no, that's, no, what, no, that's, no, that's no, what we're talking you're about. You're changing. You're you're asking, no, I'm you not. I was. I never changed. Advice. It was always the same thing. No. That's different. No. That's not advice. No. But that's what we were talking about. No. But that's what we're. That's the engagement that we were referring. That I at least I was referring to. That you probably wasn't understanding what what where I was going with it. But that's the engagement that we're talking about when Bigger looks at his phone and opens up his phone and starts looking at the comments. That's part of like how he engages with people when people start try to contact him. That's the engagement that I'm talking about. You were talking about something totally different, something that, that comes with, with hard work and the hard work that you put in and that now somebody wants to take from you and capitalize it off of the same way that you did. I wasn't talking about that. I'm talking about how he engages with people that try to contact him when it's a matter of of, of him helping them out from a spiritual standpoint and how that plays into how he actually goes on his phone and cares about the, the, uh, the comments based off of that. His genuine, his genuineness. That's so what, what I'm you're saying. About. Okay. You're talking about bigger picking the positive comments. That's how that's going to work. But we know YouTube and I'm not sitting here saying that you don't have a lot of positive comments, but it's a cesspool. People are jealous that they can't do this. So 80% of the comments is not going to be favorable. I never saw that to Dr. Umar. Yeah, but I'm not even referring to All that. Right, my fault. Yeah. Because the aspect of what you're talking about with bigger, that got nothing to do with me. Mm -hmm. I'm not I'm not giving no, I'm saying, so when you're referring to spiritual and all that, that's not what I'm giving you on camera. Right. And right. So you so understood. people so you wouldn't so when people are seeking me out, that's why when you're saying when they're seeking him out, right? They're seeking him out for a certain thing. That's what man I'm trying of God. To, that's, right. what, that's what I'm trying to explain to you. Right. If I was out here, if I was out here saying SO is the man of God, then yeah, and I'm talking about the Bible and I'm referring to scriptures, people are gonna call me for certain things like that. That's not that's not my vibe. So when we talk about the in, in interactions inside the DM, my vibe is business and getting yourself ahead and pulling the curtain back and knowing what black people don't know. That's why I'm here, right? 100%. So okay, so if you're in my DM, just speaking from my standpoint, if you're in my DM, right, like you're in his DM, this is what you're in my DM for. You're not asking me for a spiritual word to move forward. You're asking me for information. 
You're asking me, can I be on your platform? You're, everything you're asking me for costs money, straight up. And if I don't feel like this person is coming at me the right way or if I'm not in, in, in a good mood or, or whatever, if I don't know them from Space Coast or something, that costs money. Even when you go to church, you know what I'm saying? I, the I, collection. I, yo, yo, I've been with pastor. My, my <laughs> father is a deacon. When I went to Reverend Lester uh, in, uh, in, um, Community Baptist Church at in Inglewood, right? Long time ago, I'm in my 20s. My man Lauren, who married Terrell Hicks, was playing in the band and, and all that. We traveling with the pastor, the whole stuff. So I'm asking him questions like, yo, bro, you know, my father is a deacon. I don't understand all this gifting and taking collection plate and all that. It seemed like the hustle. I'm asking him a question. You know what he said? Church is a business. We got to keep the lights on. I got to get paid to do what I'm doing. All this stuff is a business, bro. You know what I'm saying? And when you don't, and when you don't understand that, see, that's the problem with a lot of us black people. We think business is taken out in certain areas. Oh, it's religion. No, that shit is a business too. The illest pastors, don't they drive around in Bentleys and shit? Don't they, ain't they in fire houses? Ain't they wearing Versace and doing all that other type of stuff? They doing that. You they know got why? private jets. Do you know why? Because when the other motherfuckers see them walk up, he doing it. That's the pastor right there. That's Creflo Dollar. Yeah. <laughs> this, is, this, this, is, this is a business, my dude. And, and why people want to come to his church? Because he got the finest car. He got the finest wife. He got the finest church. And he got the richest niggas giving him money. It's a business. I, question. Mm -hmm. Are you going to open the church, man? I feel that, like, that might be the play, nigga. I feel I have right here. I feel like. I feel like I have right here on the pulpit, you know. I but but like people really, man. When when we were together doing the show, it was interesting who came to that shop to see who. It would be people for Esso, people for myself, Mecca, people. They, but the the community from the celebrities, the women, the whoever to want to hear your spiritual guidance and message, it can be expanded beyond something and. You would get money, dude, too. It's two for one. Well, I'm not saying you do it for the money, but... Actually, speaking about not to get back on that, you know, people do ask me for money, and I give them money, too, you know, if people... Yeah, I'm, I'm going to leave my cash out. When yeah, I'm, I'm yeah, right. <laughs> I mean, you know, it, it just... It, it, I got some things happens. that people, I'm thinking about buying people, bigger. People. And God... Bless me, do <laughs> biggest cash app. People DM me and they, you know, say, you know, you know, brother, I'm hungry. You know what I'm saying? Brother, you know, I don't get paid till next week. I just need some help. You know they or, scamming too, though. And, right, and, and, and I'd be thinking that and I'm like. <laughs> and, you, and you can't just give I people your cash app like, because they'll like, bang your cash I'm app like, and all that. That's yeah, dangerous, nigga. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. I, and I think that and I'm like. I don't know, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you, this person came to me genuinely try to just, you know, try to say they're hungry and they need some help. And um, that's for them to work out with God. You know, I'm like, if that is what you're doing, if you're scamming me, that's for that that's 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 for you mm -hmm. to work out with the Lord. But yeah, I have given people money on the cash app, you know, that damn man, wow. And tell me that they're hungry. Yeah. But most of the experiences that I do experiences, a lot of people DM me for the word. A lot of people DM me because it's things they might not understand. Uh, something they heard me say, some inspiration, or I've had people DM me and tell me they was about to go murder somebody. And could I say something to them though? They about to, you know, you know, divorce their wife or something like that, could I say something to them? And, you know, I look for that, you know, so I'm more used to that. And yet, yeah, within looking for that, I get some people that have contacted me and say they just need a few dollars in their pocket, you know, that they need some help, you know. And that, you know, that goes, you know, a long way with me, you know. Um, and I have done that. I have done that several times, you know, I, you know. And I think that if they are scamming, they got to work that out with God. You know, God knows where I'm coming from with it.
But they working it out right now. Yeah, exactly. But, yeah. but, but they but, they get, trying to repent but, right now. But getting Yo, back to the it. negative comments just came to Cash App apps. Yeah. <laughs> but getting back to what you just said, mm-hmm. and um, I mean, I'm What's surprised that? you asked me that. But um, yeah, one of my inspirations to doing, I haven't even got a chance to tell space and yet in um, Vern yet, but it's. It's a tough road, but um, it's a it's a big part of me. I don't know what day I'm gonna do it when I'm gonna wake up and God is gonna say today is the day to start it. But I want to go into the train stations and I want to get on the trains and I want to minister on the trains. Which train you trying to do that on? What? Do that shit on the seven train. They ain't trying to hear that on the eight train, bro. <laughs> Whatever train. Yo, let whatever. me tell you. <laughs> let me tell you. That A train. Whatever whatever train. Whatever train. Three train. No. Yeah, I, I've trains, been on though. a train since COVID. You can get away on the L train. It's, but, but. With whatever train God leads me to. You know what? That's negativity. Stop. Yeah. You know what? You yeah. being negative? I'm you shocked. See. Yeah. One Why of, not? One of the things Hell? about the train station that God's telling That's some me ill is that shit, yo. every nationality, every culture on this world is on the New York City train station. So he tells me that's where he wants me to go. If I go and I affect one train car, it's a person from Africa, Spain, everywhere in the world on there, California, every state, it's someone there. And mm-hmm. if I affect them, who knows what they're going to get on their phone? You know what I'm saying? You know what you need effect. to do? Bring one of the thrones and, and just sit it right there no, and no. go hammer. No. Hold on. Yo, I'm telling you, that, that will be the most. <laughs> How are you going to get this shit down Nigga, there? they going to figure that out. No. I seen a couch on the train, bro. What are you talking about? <laughs> Niggas be swag surfing on the top of the train. You think Sean Bigger can't get the throne on the A train or on the three train? Take that shit to fall to ride shit, to get this down to that shit costs too much. And money. then we got King Street throwing some bars up too. Why? This shit costs too what? much money to transfer. You know, LeBron James was on the train with, with with the whole Cleveland Cavaliers team when he was lit. But um, I loved it. I do feel that um, now more than ever. It's the time. people need to hear the truth of God, you know, and I do feel like that's something that from a child I knew that was in my path to do. With all these stories coming out from the Epstein list, all these black men being accused, do you think this is God's reckoning? Is this a rap of God coming down to... Like T.D. Talk- Jakes? Yeah, T.D. Jakes, yeah. everything. Puffy, is this, is this, like, enough is enough? They say that um, everything in the dark will eventually come to light. Mm. You know, they say the roosters come home to roast. Well, I know it. You know, um, <laughs> I think that um, I have a new saying now. The night is coming to an end and the sun soon rising. Mm. And I truly believe that we're in a time right now that you know, we're upon the 6,000 year, you know. Now, I know whether you people want to, you know, don't want to believe that it was an argument me and Dr. Omar had because he believed in the millions of years. But, you know, I don't sit with that. I believe in the word of God that, you know, he said he made all of this in six days. One day is a thousand year to God. And if you do the math in the study, we are at 5,998 years. Mm. You know, I think that's a significance. But in two years, we done. It's not that in two years. It's not. It's not. It's not that in two years we're done because (laughs) it's still a thousand more years after that. So what's it a reset? But if you look in two years, if you're looking for a resurrection, a so-called alien invasion. Or something it was already like a ten foot joint in exactly. Miami. I told him go. Yes, it was already a ten this foot is, joint in Miami. Is, you think it's a coincidence that, out of all times right now, the government has admitted to you and coming out with the paperwork that oh yeah we got it. You know, it's other life forms from other planets. They coming out and we've said this on the show before. They came out and admitted that there's something in our orbit that they've Black Knight seen Satellite. that's watching us. 
that they have no control. Been there for over. a thousand years. They said that it 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 moves whatever technology is dealing with. They said we have no we have nothing that could compare to it. Nah, it's been there for ten thousand years. The black. Black Knight Satellite, you know, and they're saying yeah. that, um, yeah, that you have had, uh, you know I've been you've there had 10, science. They wasn't there ten thousand years no, ago. No, not ten thousand. No, it's but, been that. But um, yeah. you you've had um, scientists or um, the, uh, tracking the stars astronauts from back then. say that that um, yeah, if they just whatever this is that is obviously observing our planet could. It, it, the technology is so high that if they decided to attack us, we would be defenseless because we don't have no. Give me technology. twenty-four more years before you attack us, please. You know, made like Give that. I don't think. Years. I don't think all of that is a coincidence. I need more time. You no, know, I think that we we are at. All right, so mm. Satan is not made to win. Interesting. He's not made to win. It is no time other than now that he is at his most powerful. He's lit right now. He is. He, yes, he, he's yeah. lit. He he's super duper lit most, right now. He got he the hottest at, nightclub he, out right he, now. He downstairs right like, right like, no, these yeah. niggas <laughs> thought, no. These, these niggas ain't this no, is real. Boy. This is real. He is at his real most shit, powerful state. If it goes on any much longer without interruption, who knows what's going on? Exactly. Right. So it's it crazy. all it all aligns. You mm. know? But but I think I think look, let me say this: a lot of people's minds is getting fucked up too. Like I I don't know what's going on. I don't know if it's the COVID shot or people just going crazy because of money. A lot of people's mental is really fucked up right now, and it's, and it's bigger than what they want. And the girls being hoes. You can tell somebody something and it goes in their left ear and comes out their right ear and they be they hear it totally different. It's mm. weird it's weird times going on. A lot of misconception, a lot of misunderstandings. Uh, 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 it's it's a lot of people that want their way like they could really their way but ain't giving nobody their way. It's weird it's weird times going on at at least before, when these things was going on, you, you would give somebody leeway. Like when dudes, when you neglect somebody, you already know, like, if you're neglecting them, you don't know what's going to happen. Nowadays, yo, let me neglect you and you still don't do shit about it. I, I need you to just keep, a, let me abuse you and do and do and doing what you want. It's just weird times when people start process in, in, in their mentals. And I'm being honest, I can't explain it. And I'm a cerebral thinker, too. And I, and I, I was thinking, yo, it's the shot. Yo, it's the it's the crack babies. It's, it's the parents who was crackheads, and these are their kids. And you know what I'm saying? It's it's a lot of trying to justify the wild stuff that's going on. But I think people might just be losing their minds. I think also too is sensory overload. I think like before TV, you might have five channels you liked, a couple of books, a couple of radio stations. You would hear a song. To hear a song on a radio and you didn't have your tape recorder ready, you'd have to wait another two, three hours. Now, there's nothing that's not available without well, typing it up. Well, you see, I'm glad what you said, Esso, because you have a great point. Mm -hmm. And I always stress this point to people. I try to stress it to Dr. Omar, too, to make him understand. Mm -hmm. We're attacked through our mind. Mm -hmm. You know, the mind is how we're attacked because once we have, once... The evil one have control of your mind, he have control of your body. And from children, we are already dealing with the evil one planting seeds, planting seeds, planting seeds to take over your mind. And then you're supposed to have those that's planting seeds for God to take over your mind. Mm -hmm. But the scripture says that we are not of our own, that we will be controlled by one or the other that we are slaves, that we will be controlled. Either you will be a God slave to Satan. God or you will be a slave to Satan. And that comes through your mind. But how does Satan, let me ask you a question. How does Absolutely. Satan get so strong if he was the, the angel of music? He's a regular old angel, right? How the hell this dude gets so strong that, we, that he's competing with God? He's exceptional. That's, that's what it, you got it, you got it. Acknowledge that it's exceptional people break the mold or to entities. compete with God. Yes, 
Well, why not? Well, actually, Satan was the archangel. Yeah. And um, what, what's the difference? What, what does that mean? So, an archangel is um, Gabriel. Yeah, yeah, those are special. Mm -hmm. They're mm -hmm. like levels of angels. So, the archangel are those that have special, special. They're like, on the top of the yeah. They, that's the yeah. top of the food okay. chain, mm -hmm. and according to the scriptures, Lucifer happened to be like like you said, the angel of music and all the angels used to gather around, he would usher in like the, the light for all the other angels. And at some point, he got in his mind that not so much, I don't think that the scripture said that he was going to compete with God, but that he was going to rise up on the level of God. Okay. And it's, you know, but isn't he doing that right now? Exactly. Mm -hmm. But 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 this is what I'm saying. That's what I'm like. Like we're talking about, even though God is here, we're talking about somebody who's not God and actually like I'm competing with this man to take over people's minds and the world, what or maybe it? the universe. It's mm -hmm. bigger than the world. Mm -hmm. It's more. It's more like the universe. Well, yeah, but it has something directly to do with man, because. Mm -hmm. He was, it says, woe unto man that Satan comes down to earth with wrath to destroy the siblings of the one that's on the throne. Mm -hmm. The one that's on the throne is Jesus, the body of Christ. And it was something about man that he might have had already figured out that Jesus was going to manifest himself in the form of a man. So his whole thing, if he's trying to, if he's trying to somehow rearrange what's going to happen to himself, his whole thing would have to been to destroy Jesus. So it tells you that a sign was in heaven where a woman was given birth, and when she was given birth, the dragon rose up to her and was waiting for the baby to come out to devour the baby. And that Michael and the archangels came and they made war with him. Mm. But why he didn't just kill her? He I don't need to wait for the baby. I'm gonna just chop the head off the snake. I'm gonna kill you and the baby. Maybe possible, but he was waiting for that baby to come out to destroy the baby as far as what the scriptures say, that it was directly trying to destroy the baby and that when Michael and the archangels arrived and made war with him, they overtook him. Yeah, I don't even want to be like Cat Williams and his father because this is how they broke up was arguing about religion. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then the number one fight that me and my father have because he's a deacon is religion. He gets mad at me. I'm like, who wrote the book? Because niggas rewrote the book. We know that they 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 major parts of the Bible. I forgot what it's called. That were taking out the Bible, and book, we know that they was there. Book of Enoch. Yeah. The book was it was there, and they just took it out, and now we got this other book. So it's like, okay, if they was able to do that at this stage of time, what makes it what makes us not think they didn't do that before? I'm glad you say that because this is points where the world don't understand. So. Mm. And this is like, I hope this be common sense to you guys mm -hmm. because you guys are intelligent. You really think the slave master, the devil, or the white man wrote the scriptures? Have you ever really took the time and opened up the scriptures and read them? Even with the books that you have that's not in there. Mm -hmm. That is a work of art that is way beyond, so why would it, how could someone so evil and devilish write something like that, that actually speaks against him, that actually speaks to his demise? They took it, right, and they rewrote it, right? This is, this, I'm telling you, this, this is my thing. They, they took it, how it looks to one person that believes it, it don't look the same to the person that don't believe it. You feel what I'm saying? So the person that believes it can dive into it, but the person that don't, they're going to pick and choose. Like, for example, when they say um, Jesus parted the Red Sea, right? Mm -hmm. 
Moses. Moses. Moses, yeah, Moses yeah. part of the Red Sea. I'm sorry. Right? So when you ask one person, they're like, yo, you got to think figuratively. Right? When I asked my father, he really think Moses part of the Red Sea. And they walked on the ground below sea level. You see what I'm saying? But other people, see? See, he's the one that think that, that he put the rod, die rod and die staff down, bomb, and the water disappeared, and everybody got up and walked across the water. These other people would say, you got to look at it figuratively in life. It's not about really the Red it's, it's, it's not really about him parting the Red Sea. You got to look at it figuratively and how people walked across and blah, 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 blah. Because now they got to think, did you see the Chinese guy that walked on water? You know what I'm saying? They got, they got all these different things that occur now that you have questions about. There's no answers to the shit. It's all about, again, there are just certain people Belief. who have exceptional abilities. I think I saw a video, Joe Rogan was talking about this one white guy. I forgot the nickname they gave him. He's exceptionally strong. He can bite metal with his mouth. Bend metal with his hand. He's only weighs 130 pounds. Um, if that guy was back then, that might have been considered Samson. We don't know anybody to bring metal. Maybe Moses had the ability to shift water, or the water receded at the right moment. But as a believer, I'm not here to misdirect or disrespect their belief or a science person. We don't know. We still don't even know how the pyramids were built. They either say it was aliens, Atlanteans, black people. We forgot the knowledge. There's a lot of things we don't know. I would say this to you. Um, mm -hmm. Do you believe in God? Of I course. believe in an entity. I don't, I don't subscribe to God. I think there's multiple gods. Mm. But I know that's a tricky situation because that's, that sounds like paganism. So I'm not ignorant to that. Mm -hmm. I believe in well, God. Well, you know, angels present themselves as yeah. gods, and people could mm -hmm. uh, possibly think that the angels are... Uh... God, to me, is a feeling. I praise God. I, I worship him. How, how, how my father goes to church on every Sunday, them church niggas is trash. Them church niggas tried to take my parents' house. They tried to manipulate them. Every motherfucker that comes to help them out to church nine times out of ten, is something wrong with them. Church niggas are niggas that had shit going on too that's trying to change their life. You feel what I'm saying? They not know, they, they're not different from me. When my mother is, yo, Randy, you don't have to get on your knees. You, you, you can talk to God. When you in the shower, when you in the bathroom, when you talking around, you got to build a relationship with God. That's what I have. I, I got a relationship with God. So you feel that there's an energy um, Definitely. That's, my higher life has than, been, that's higher than yours. My life has been saved. When them niggas tried to kill me, I right? Feel you. I all feel, right? I've been there. All right, listen. When them niggas tried to kill me, I've been a basketball player my whole life. You know why I didn't make it big at this, at this, at being 5'10"? I couldn't jump. I was fast. I could handle. I could shoot. I, I couldn't jump. How, how I got away from niggas killing me is I jumped higher than I ever jumped before inside a fuse box, grabbed the top of the gate, swung around and landed like I was supposed to do it. When I got to the a a a ambulance with my shit busted open, I, when I, it's no way that there wasn't a God. And I'm going to tell you what's real shit. I was questioning God at this time. I had lost my grandmother. My sister was diagnosed with HIV. Money wasn't right. I was struggling to graduate from college. I was in limbo about life. I was on some, if there was a God, I wouldn't be going through this because I'm not a bad person. You follow what I'm saying? Mm. And when this shit occurred to me, it straightened me up and I knew that there was God and I was trying to find ways to honestly, to praise because I never liked going to church. It was boring as hell to me. My father's from Belvedere, North Carolina. I know about church. We went to church in Queens. I was always going and it never struck me. It was a couple of people that spoke in church, like the I I Inglewood Baptist Church that I, I mentioned, Reverend Lester. I can't remember his last name. He, he struck me. When I went to go see him talk and minister, and he let me ask him questions like this. They not bringing you in and talking to you about the business and explaining to you, yo, Randy, did we he, give people loans. Did he charge you for the questions? Nah. 
<laughs> we give people jobs because you take donations. Because you take donations already. I gave my donations. <laughs> Baby, that's a good one. <laughs> I can't, I can't, I'm just I can't saying. Do I'm just saying. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying. Front. With the minister, you pay up front. All right? You, there is no question. And he explained to me how they're giving people jobs. This girl was an accountant. Yeah. That was doing the books for church. He explained to me how the church don't pay no taxes. He taught me a lot. Just what I say, he taught me a lot of stuff about business because of my of my questions of not understanding how, how how this is going. Let's go back to how he made you feel though. How he how did he make you feel when he when he put his hand on your shoulders and try to like get you to understand and to view. The, the better part of what you were going through. He didn't, who, who are you talking about? The, the, the minister, Min the pastor. From he, didn't, he didn't do that. He didn't do that? Mm -mm. I, see, how I build with people is, 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 is different. I didn't come to him with no problems. My, my producer was in the band, so I'm just tagging along at first. You feel what I'm saying? I'm just tagging along with my producer because that because that's what I do. We yo, we going down to Philly. It's gonna be something different, Randy. You can't smoke in the car, but come on down to Philly with us because you might like it. All right, cool. I'll smoke before you get in the car, blah, 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 blah. We going down to Philly. In the midst of us moving around, I just talk to people while they talking about stuff. I'm like, yo, can I ask you a question, bro? And that's how, and that's the comp, that's how it sparked. Even when I was going through stuff, he didn't know, I, I didn't share that type of thing with him. I was really trying to seek information. I'm an information seeker. I tell people a lot of stuff because I've asked intricate questions from people that I, that I know that people want to know, I, I want to share. So that's how my relationship just started with him. It wasn't about out of necessity. But, but through that engagement, it, that helped you to understand or to, to, to it helped accept, me to accept why to I accept. was giving. Say again? It helped me understand why I was giving money. That was my question to him. Why am I giving money? Why is the plate going around two and three times? No, but you also I said, don't get it. Yeah, but you also said that you was in a dark place. Did you not say that you said that you was in a dark place and he helped so you understand? So much grandmother passing. Your grandmother, your, you know no, what I'm saying? When, when, no, not the pastor, oh, okay. when I escaped the murder. When I, oh, snap, okay. When I escaped the murder, that's when I say I know there's a God because if I jumped higher than you, higher than I ever jumped before to get away, He lifted me up. There was no question about it to me. Yo, Randy, you think there ain't no God, but if there wasn't one, there's no freaking way you would have got away. So from just me. like that helped you believe that there was a higher power. Yes. You also believe that there is someone that's completely opposite, which we consider to be Satan. Did I believe that? No, no. After you, after you went through that experience, and accepted and believed that there is a higher power, and we're gonna call him God, right? Uh huh. Do you also at that? Did you also at that point, even prior to that or after that, accepted the fact that there's somebody that there's another I already energy? Believed, I already believed in Satan. I, I, already, I believed in Satan more than God. How about that? That's how bad it was. There can't be no God. Cause I'm a college student. I'm going through. I'm going through all of this shit that I don't even understand why I'm going through this. God wasn't on my mind, but what's prevalent in, 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 in the hood is always Satan. Satan's always there in the hood. I think that what people need to understand is that you can't believe of, uh, of one without the other, and that's what we're going Duality. with this conversation. But but this conversation he had people, to show me, but some exactly, but, but exactly. some people ha had to be shown. Exactly. See, I, I I I I grew up as a believer in God. Right. Total. Also, you grew up believing. Yes, yes. Things happen. That's right, why I right. said things occurred. I lost things. Things happened to have me like yo. If like these good people, my my sister that got AIDS from niggas she married. She was the best out of the three kids. She was the leader. She was the engineer, the chemical engineer. She was going to bring back the Black Panthers. That was my sister Tammy. This is the nigga that gets AIDS. She don't even be fucking. Mm. She got it from the nigga she married. What the? What's up, bro? <laughs> right. What's up, bro? You took grandma four years. You took grandma two years ago, a year and a half ago. Now you giving Tammy this AIDS shit. And we talking about the 90s when niggas wasn't living. My sister lived for 20 years after that. I'm going to college, things ain't working out. It's a lot of street shit going on now. I'm learning to survive differently. Niggas shot up my door. 
I'm still trying to go to school. It's mad shit going on. So at this young mom, my, my, my frontal lobe is not developed. It's easy to go negative. Easy. So with that being said, that takes us back to you what know you what's said happening? originally. It goes back to what he said and Bigger said. It's the devil is, is the, the exactly. musician. The, so he's earlier, playing his violin around Exactly. You. Earlier, you questioned why is it that we're going through all of this right now and that's what it is. It's easier to be negative. So that's, and that has a way of taking over your, not only your mind, mm. it takes over uh, what we go through in society. I, I have my own views, mm. but we're only answering questions based on based on your personal experiences yes. and, and we're taking those questions and applying it to the discussion that we're having right of now. Course. And that takes us right back to what you said earlier. Why is it that, you know what I'm saying? Where, where, why is it that all of this is happening now? And that's exactly why, because it's easier to be negative. There, there's so many things that are happening right now that shouldn't be happening, mm -hmm. but are hap but is it are happening because of that. But there's a saying that says, um, um, but, that but, says, uh, that says, uh, the lies take the elevator, the truth takes the stairs. But are you taking into account, right? Mm -hmm. You're not talking to a 40-year-old man at that time. Mm -hmm. You're talking to a 15-year-old and a 17-year-old boy. Mm -hmm. So, so that, that thought process that you're saying, that's not happening. And my frontal lobe's not even developed. We're not even getting to the level of even coming to that understanding of this grown man. You're talking about a kid. How are you going to get through to a kid with that? That that outlook that you're saying of going on, for me being from South South Jamaica, Queens, you're not reaching me with that. It's not even possible, bro. And I got both of my parents inside the crib. So it's not, I, I don't think it's perpetuating and saying, yo, well, you see you being negative in this way. No, I wasn't being negative when my grandmother died. I wasn't being negative when my sister got a a HIV from a nigga that she married. I wasn't being negative when the nigga tried to kill me, but you know what it did do? It turned my mind. It turned my mind negative. All right, so I, I, I didn't come in there that way. Certain things in life, things happen to certain people. Everybody is just saying, yo, this is, shit happens to some people. And I just happened to be one of those people that shit was going down with. And, and then and not being able to understand it or deal with it, that's how I processed it. Not, not, yo, it's not a God, it can't be one. Because if it was one, why is this shit happening to good people, not just me? All these other people that I'm watching and these bad motherfuckers is rocking. They living. So that's what I was trying to process at that time. And then it made me a seeker of information. Even when I was doing that shit, saying that I was still praying. See, when I was down and out, I was praying. When I got back up, you know what I realized? Even when I'm up, I, I need to be praying. I don't just pray when I'm down. I'm praying. I, I need to pray when I'm thankful, when things is going good. I, I just can't pray to God and be like, yo, please help me out this jam and all this other type of stuff. But it took growth and it took seeking of knowledge. Even at that time, I, I, I was 25 when I was talking to that pastor. You know what I'm saying? And I was still trying to seek knowledge. I already had survived the murder attempt. I already had learned to walk again. Right? So I'm, now I'm just trying to seek out information of why this is going on because I'm the nigga that I'm saying I need God. And I'm not understanding why this is a part of God. And then he took time to tell me, like, yo, we're paying bills and we're doing this and we're doing that. Once he said that to me, nobody heard nothing else out of me no more. Because I understood, yeah, or while you're praising, I need these doors to stay open and these bills to be paid so I can receive the praise. How much have you studied the, the scripture and read the scripture, though? How many times have I studied? No, how it? much? How much? Not much, bro. So, see, that's the thing with the scripture because mm. a lot of the answers that you look for is right in the scripture. And um, people get conf confused to church. The church is not a building. The church is not a building where people gather together. The church is the body of Christ. So those are the believers and those that have faith that have gathered together in union. They're the church. You're the church. I'm the church. That's the church, not the building. Which, which book is the right book? When I say that, right? The whole entire Bible. I'm, I'm going to say this, right? 
I, I appreciate everybody's religion. You got parts of religion that's fractured. So I remember um, we went over to this Protestant guy. He's a big, important figure. We went to his house and I just remember everyone was so scared. They're like, take your earrings out. Don't do this, don't do that. And I was like, but when we go over to this other guy's house, there, there aren't these stipulations. Oh, well, he's Catholic. But I said, isn't it all the same umbrella? Why is there these fractures and these distinctions? That right there is confusing. Even though ultimately the end result is the end result. But I know those little subtleties, even within the Muslim, the, the, the Shiites and the Shunis, pardon me if I mispronunciate that, but how certain Muslims curtail the Quran for their own benefits. It's not a lot that do it. People are seeing that and it's confusing them. There are things that's in the scriptures that said, I remember there was a Bible, uh, there was a verse a long time ago, well-endowed black man that was considered a curse. They had to take that out because obviously that's not a beneficial thing. You understand? And I just think those subtleties really keep people from really absorbing and really diving into the scriptures. And I, I speak for myself in that. What, what mm. keeping people from diving in the, the scriptures is the ministers. Mm. Um, the ministers, when the minister doesn't do his job, when those that have been ordained mm. to bring the word forth is not correct and they don't do their job, this is the reason why this all comes about. Oh. You know, so one of the things is that the people have dealt with so many of these false ministers, ministers that have been false prophets that have used the word of God for their own benefit and people have been misguided. And those that are, have been ordained to bring the ministry might have, you know, been ducking out trying to avoid their calling, mm. you know, just like Jonah. You know, um, I'm one of those people, you know, for many years, I know what I was born to do, you know, knew it from the time of my earliest thoughts, but uh, it's not as simple to, when one of the things that you would understand is that you have to pick up your cross. And once you understand that, Everybody's not ready to pick up their cross. Some just want to live life and try to be prosperous and, you mm -hmm. know, life. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Now, getting back to God, that I know y'all both believe in God, and we have to understand that, and I'm going to explain to you where the word of God comes from so people understand. So first, without any question, you just have to take a look at yourself and if you take a, just a look at yourself with the intelligence that you have, you could look and you could tell your perfect design. This five fingers, the feet, the legs, the ears, the eyes, the mouth, the mm -hmm. nose, that was a design. So let's stop there and let's take the car y'all pulled up in. You pulled up in the car when you came to my house. Mm -hmm. That car is a perfect design. It's made with the exact four wheels that it's supposed to have. It has the engine inside. It has fuel that needed to run. It has the wires and the connectors inside that it makes it all come together to form a car. Now, we know that car didn't put itself together. We know that that car was made by someone. Creative. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Now, what was the purpose of the car being made? Travel. Exactly. For the person who made it relatively to get to where humans, they gotta go. Exactly to be able to travel. Mm -hmm. Now, let's get back to yourself. You are the same as the car. You are a perfectly designed machine that is supposed to be used for someone to travel in. Mm -hmm. You're saying God? Ye body is a temple that the Lord dwells in. So now once you understand that, you have to now understand that who was Adam? 
and what was Adam created for in the first place? See, when you study the scripture and you read the scripture and you open up your heart to it, all of these answers are there. Adam was made to be a manifestation of God on this earth. What happened was Adam fell into sin. And when Adam fell into sin, he got damned from that and got blocked from that. And Satan was able to now take that power that Adam was supposed to have. Now, where does the Bible come from? Adam had children. Adam's children had children. Adam was like no other man that you could think of. Because Adam, according to the scripture, when he was created by God, God used Adam to name everything that's around us. Adam was the one who said, this is grass, that's a lion, that's a sheep, this is all it. God took him to do all of that. And he gave him power and dominion over the whole entire planet. Now, you don't think Adam told his kids what took place? You don't think his kids told their kids what took place? See, so it was an oral tradition that went on. This and, is my point. And that oral tradition passed through man to man was able to write. And when man was able to write, that's where it all comes from. But if you don't have a minister to be able to explain a lot of this stuff to you, you don't know. So people say, how did Moses know all of this? But that was explained to me, bigger. I, I, I want to let you know, right? And my and my thing to people is this: dope, these are mere mortal people too, right? I tell ghost something, ghost tells him something, ghost tell you something, ghost tell it don't come back the same. <laughs> it don't come back the same. And that was my biggest gripe with the with the with the, because they because they told me yo it was passed verbally. I said, well, if it's passed verbally, I know it's definitely not right. Okay. Now this is the catch to it. Mm -hmm. With you're talking about. Flawed man. Mm -hmm. No, there I'm talking about always, we're mortals. I'm talking about was, we're mortals. No, we're no, all no. flawed. No, no. Okay. Actually not. You know, there was always those that were like able. There were always those that are blessed by God, that's ordained by God to pass that message. And that message, you got to understand, if we already said that it was an intelligence and we could understand something that created us, you telling them they couldn't preserve their word? No, people make them immortals. They make mistakes. You no, 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 no. Listen to what I just said. If you have an intelligence that was smart enough to design your body and everything around you in a way that's deeper than your understanding. You telling me that same intelligence could not preserve their word. But the Anunnaki's did that. God didn't create us the Anunnaki's did. He sent the Anunnaki's, the early Anunnaki's created the human. Who said that? That's documented. Documented and what? You look it up. The Anunnaki's, the Anunnaki's yes. created the human body no, in a reproductive that, system. That the Bible doesn't tell you anything like that. That's something that could be in uh, another book, and I understand. I guess that's scientific yeah, that's, lore, yeah, that's but, scientific, every, that's, but everybody, if you don't know about that's the, the choice that we have. Not everybody knows about the Anunnaki's, though, bigger. The, the Anunnaki's. The is, Bible teaches you is about the, that. Exactly. Yeah, the, so, the Bible teaches what it is. you about it's, 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 it's The Bible what? teaches you and lets you know those were the watchers. Those are the fallen angels that was put here to become watchers, but they decided to sleep with women. And, and they were uh, also the babies. highest form of knowledge and brain power, too, the Anunnaki's. They would be the highest For our, For where we at, their brain power what? is far beyond. Supposedly, they created the whole body. But they didn't. <laughs> I, I think, they did. I think what if you read the scriptures, the scriptures tell you you was created by God, and there was no one with Him when, and no one beside Him when you were created. That He did that all on His own. See, this is why it's important to read the scriptures, and then these Anaaki. That's why I said I would get into it because me and my father argue about this. As I just said, like me and my father argue because because I'm, I'm gonna tell you why. Even when I Google it and show him, you know what he says? I'm not looking at that. I read I read the scripture. I'm not even I'm not even going to entertain it. And my biggest thing with people is you gotta leave your mind open. 
That's my biggest thing with people, right? If you want me to believe this thing, that means you want me to have my mind open. You got to do the same. And it's very hard for religious and people and followers of Christ to leave their mind open. And I know this for a fact because this is all I've been around. I didn't even come to this until I'm going to give my wife credit. My wife is Muslim. And she would come and she would learn stuff and she would go to church and she was like, the Muslim religion teaches you to go seek out other people's religions. But you know why? And there's a reason for that. Mm -hmm. Because the scripture teaches you that. Beware of anyone that comes to you with anything other than the gospel of Christ. Because they come to you with the gospel of Satan. But they would say that because they don't follow Allah. They follow Christ. So I would, That's so I would expect it. I would expect it to so, be conveyed that way. So, that no. That's with anything. No. So, so bigger, my bad. Mm -hmm. So would you agree with with uh, according to to uh, what he's saying about his wife and uh, the Muslim religion to go out and seek seek um, or study other religions? Would you agree with that? According I, to the scriptures, I just made that very clear. Anything other than the gospel of Christ is the gospel of Satan. I said, it's yeah. a, I mean, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's, it's my thing with that, right? You're everybody get no, right. no, you're, you're an exceptional person. My issue with the gospel of Christ is how people over time become very snobbish with it. They feel like because they're under the protection of Christ that they can have a, a certain level of disdain towards others. And I remember um, I had this um, job one time and I was working with this lady and I did everything against the, the policies to accommodate this lady. And nothing was good enough to the point I just washed my hands of it. And I remember she said, based on the attitude you have, God is going to punish you. <laughs> you know, everybody that... <laughs> and, and, and everybody that say... Wait, one yeah, second. Right, everybody right, that say... And this is the, see what, this is the, this is the problem that... <laughs> this is the problem that we have. Everybody that say and speaks Christ to you is not saying... Is not correct. I, 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 you but know? What I told her was, God created this platform that we're on to help expedite what we're trying to do. Yes. You broke every rule of God to in accommodation for you and he's going to punish me. See, but if she was correct, she wouldn't have broke any rule. If she Thank was correct, you. if she was correct, she wouldn't allow you to break no, no I, rule. But, but here's my but thing. she's a human being. This is where we're going back. You see? You could, she could make a mistake. Yeah. Yes. We all are mm -hmm. work, we all a work in progress, but mm -hmm. he's describing something else though. Mm. You know what I'm saying? He's describing something totally different. A woman would call that this is real. I'm still a work in progress. That's the thing, yo, if I mess up, if I fuck that up, if that's a mistake, I'm sorry. I'm still a work in progress. And I'm not, I'm screaming and yelling. I'm screaming and yelling. I'm sorry. I know I'm not supposed to scream and yell. My bad. I'm a work in progress. I know I'm not supposed to spend all the money. I spent it. My bad. I'm a work in progress. Yeah, but <laughs> they, they all everything is a work in progress. Not that, it's yeah, not, I got a problem with not, that. It's not. It's not What's that quite big? cut and dry, though. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? All right. So when I say that I'm a work in progress, I'm not. That means I'm not perfect. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But I strive for perfection. Mm -hmm. Right. When, I think they he, think that, I think they think they're striving for perfection too. Bro. I don't think no. I don't I don't so I think no. I think some people use no. that as an exactly. excuse it's just, to you, be accepted. You have to, to have that, their to have their mistakes accepted. I don't think that a lot of people are What about being that. delusional? What about that, being that is okay, well. okay. No, that is well. I'm, I'm gonna give you another one. Yeah, yeah. Dumb. Selfish. Self centered. All of these things cause these things, and these are human reactions from people. Whether we like it or not, none of these motherfuckers, none of these motherfuckers is 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 is, is perfect. I'm, I'm watching, and, I, and that's why I don't I don't like talking about the church and all that because, like I tell, like I explained to my father, yo, bro, they're just people. It's just like you know what they look at. You know how, how I had to make him see it. I said, you know, when when we grew up, we thought our family was superheroes. Nothing our family did was wrong. They just some niggas too. They just your bloodline. 
They know good niggas too. So just because he go out there, if Johnny go out there and steal and rob and sell drugs, yo, that's, that's Johnny, you know, that's the bad seed of the family. Over here, they going to kill this nigga, right? It's all, it's all relative. It don't make it better because Johnny, your family. You know and that's what people kind of get twisted. You that, know a tree by the fruit that it bear. Okay. That's also one part of it, though. But I think that we're also talking about like, like uh, <laughs> uh, personal, ex personal um, accountability. Accountability for that's what exactly. You know what I'm saying? That's what I, I think. Now, I think you're getting where I'm coming that. from. You know, yeah, I, I understand it, it exactly. Go, it what goes you're beyond because we're yeah. because because you know we're here. You know a tree by the fruit that it bears. So that actually means that if you're look, you 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 keep describing these rotten apples to me. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? If you look at the tree and you see rotten apples falling from the tree, you know what tree it is. They not rotten apples, is it right? Jesus was the one that was walking for all the the, the the thugs and the prostitutes and all that, saying not to condemn them. But then when we in church, we condemning them. That, that's why I said we got we got to we got to everybody we, got everybody the got church the, is the, body, the church is the body of Christ, not the building. Everybody, well, the people that follow religion are condemning the people that God or Jesus was saying don't do this too. All right. The so, reason why I'm walking, the reason why I'm walking and doing all these other things is because you're condemning the prostitutes and the. Have you ever all, heard all, me all do these, that? No. I'm, but I'm talking about what's going on. I, I can't talk about nobody else. But we have, have but, you but bigger, ever heard me do that. Bigger, we have to talk about we have to talk about what the body of what's going on because bigger's not the only one that people is listening to and going out there. It's I a big it's a, it's a it's a big thing that's it's a big thing that's I going that. that's but going on. But have, to, go, 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 I'm sorry. I, I think we need to get to a common ground, bigger. Because that it goes back to what Esau has gone through, with how you look at the world and how I'm jaded, this is the world now. People are confused. There's no straight yellow brick road yeah. to God the proper way. This is what I'm going to tell you. It is. Okay. But this is what I'm going to say, and we could end it at that. Mm -hmm. I implore you to open up your scriptures and open up your heart and read the scriptures. That's all. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Just open up the book and just read it and read it with an open heart. It's nothing that is in those scriptures that actually got you wrong. People don't like the scriptures. You know why? You know why people have the biggest problem with the scriptures? They don't understand it. They don't understand it, but not only that, <laughs> it's, it's, it, it doesn't allow them to live peacefully in their sin. I don't think so, bigger. You can't if you don't understand what niggas is writing down. You don't even. You're not even I'm, thinking on, about that. I, I, when people do this, if you're thing, living in fornication, if you're living yes. in adultery, if you're a liar, if you're a thief, if you're a killer, you don't want to read the Bible. You don't want to yeah. deal with the Bible. It's just like a person who knows no, they're sick. Don't. They don't want to go to the doctor. Want, you do it, not want to nice, deal with nice, a scripture nice. if you are living in sin. That's a that kinda, and that's kinda, the truth. Kinda, I kind of don't agree. Like, I, I mean, feel why? Why wouldn't they want to name I mean, one person that's against the Bible, and I name you something that there a reason why they? Against I'm not. I'm not. A, I'm not against the Bible. Like, I've read it. I don't understand it because it goes back to what you said. To accountability, and then it goes to interpretation, mm. and everybody's interpretation is different. We both can. We all can read a, a one scripture, right? And you interpret it, you interpret it. We all interpret it differently. I think nobody's leaving. No, it gotta open. speak to you. Like, I, yeah, I, I, as I an individual. I, I, you don't need none of these people. You can't put it on none of these people. I'm telling you, pray and ask God, because your relationship is with Him. Pray and ask God to, when you open up that Bible, to give you the insight of what those scriptures are saying. And then if you want to go to someone that you want to ask questions about and ask them to help explain to you those scriptures, again, I just told you, right in those scriptures is going to tell you the tree you judge by the fruit that it bears. Do you remember how, do you remember how I started the conversation was I go through this with my own father who reads the Bible every day back and forth. And I was there. Great. I was there when he took the test to be a deacon, go to church. I know. I these. I, I understand what you're saying. 
I'm being, I'm being totally complete, honest with y'all. It's always interpreted differently by different people, even past this. So, we, and people gonna follow what they wanna follow. Interpret it for yourself. And then, yeah, when, it's, when it's, you, it's, it's, it's when you like get that. on your knees and, and, and you pray and you and ask then, God. And, and when I pray to God, right, my, my biggest thing to my father is like, I'm not really reading that Bible like that. Tell me who wrote it. Just tell me who wrote it. Give me an author. Just tell me everything that we all read, you can tell me who wrote it. Tell me who wrote the joint. And there's never no answer. I gotta have faith on who wrote the joint, who led it. We, but I did we, get we're dealing answer. in a society, we're dealing in, 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 in a society that they're rewriting things and taking things out. That didn't just start. So, so, the, so the author that, matters more than the words? No, no, that didn't just start. You can't tell me about a book that we know a whole section was taken out of. We know for a fact. We know this for a fact. A whole section was taken out of, and I said, we're going to take this great section out and give them the book back. It depends but on what Bible that. you have. I, I'm not a, I'm not Come a, on, bro. It depends on what Bible you have. I'm not a Bible person, but <laughs> so does the, not knowing the author supersedes the quality of the message that's in the, those books. For me, yes. That, that, that's, that's, yes. A that, that, that's a good point. Yeah, that's a good point. That's, I feel that's the tipping point for everybody. That, for me, that, yes. But it's that's a lot a good of people point. like Who that. Who wrote this? The part also. So that that again, goes? We were not speaking the same language. Exactly. We were speaking Hebrew. They were speaking Hebrew. Okay? Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, this what I'm saying. I know this stuff too. I just, I might not look like it or talk about it all day, but I'm affluent with this shit too. I just don't like to talk about it because it's a debate. Yeah, it's like politics, talking. It's, it's, it's tough. It, it, it's, it's like relationship talk. And he knows I, I hate relationship talk. You know why? It never ends. And neither does religion. Politics too. It never ends. You can. It never. It, it's always somebody saying but, something else. Somebody saying something else. It's like yo, chill. If you really want to do something, just live right. We have to keep it simple. Right. Yeah, there you go. But keep how it do you simple. Live? There you go. That's but, it. But back to what but how do you know how do you live right? That's how the mic drop right there. That's what how it would, is. How would you know how to live? You live in honesty. People know right from wrong naturally. Even when we kids, we know when we being devilish. Do we know we really? what we doing. Not necessarily because I you just really? said I did. Not necessarily because at fifteen, you said at fifteen, do we really? You had a lot of turmoil and you didn't know which way to go, right or left, and there was a lot of things. Yeah, you can't life. say that. So, up until a certain point, yes. you're still learning. Of course, you, you think do. you got to be taught yeah. right from wrong. Yes, when you're a baby. yes. yes. you have to be. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Yeah. yes, yes. That's a thing. You got to be taught that fornication is wrong. You got to be taught that adultery is wrong. You got to be taught these things, and all of these lessons are right in that book. And those are all human emotions. The lessons in the book is that Jesus tell you, "Do unto your neighbor as you would do unto yourself." You have to learn that. I know, but when we talk about adultery and all that, right? In other, in other lands, everything it was cool to have many wives and all of that shit. No, it was never good with with God. That was never good with God. I could have sworn he had dudes in there that had other wives and in lands yeah, and all that that. other type of stuff. Those there wasn't are the nobody in there. Let me there wasn't. Exactly. There was niggas yeah, yeah. in there. Those are the yeah, people. Yeah, yeah. Y'all be like, I don't know. If you let, like, I don't know if this you let shit. me finish. I'm trying to tell oh, y'all. Oh, 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 Talk about that. They had. We get. We get the. They oh, had oh, niggas oh, who oh, had multiple wives, and they told me that this marriage shit. Hold on. This marriage and this whole shit was made up for money, even down to the wedding ring, nigga. All this was a scam to sell. Who are you going to say had multiple nigga? wives? You're going to say Solomon? I you can't. Gonna, you, I'm not. I'm not. Gonna, I'm not going to regurgitate okay. their names, bigger. But I'm just telling yeah. you. I, yeah. I'm just telling you're you. You're talking about, talk about right, that so one, bigger. Because I got about, questions too. Solomon what had you're many talking wives. about is the old, yeah, and look, Old Testament. And look what happened to Solomon. See, you got to. But is the Old Testament not valid because it said uh, that I, they got wives in there? We're not going to fuck with the Old Testament because we don't like what they were saying. No. We're going to rock with this no, shit right here. Old Testament. The Old taking that shit out the Bible. The Old Testament is very valid when you okay. study the scripture because mm. you see what ends up happening to all of them. The results. They all died without the promise and they didn't die in a good way. You know, the people, of, first of all, until Christ came, there was nothing that was understood. You didn't, God had not revealed himself yet until the birth of Christ. Once Christ came and then he took his disciples, he gave his disciples the footprints that we were supposed to follow. So when you were dealing with the Bible, you were supposed to be following the footprints that was laid by the disciples. Is it time for new footprints then? What you're saying now, we have to go back to, it sounds like we're doing what the Old Testament was doing 
maybe a new version of a direction of the New Testament needs to be implemented to restructure the direction that's needed for everybody. Oh, we need God to come down here. And, and that's about out. to happen. But, you know, we, so, we just need God to come down here. And, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah. say what's up. but all right, before that happens, though, <laughs> you want to try to get his, yourself right. And that's what this is all about. And mm -hmm. how are we going to get ourselves right if we don't have no one to tell us what's right? Mm. Because we all going to be brought into submission one way or the other. But the people that's telling us what's right are mere mortals too that made all of these same mistakes that we made. Yes. They the same but, mere mortals as me. No. Now I could go and learn and, and become a pastor too. You know what? I'm still no, Randy. No, no, no. Not according to the scripture. I could study and become a not pastor. Not according I could follow to the scripture. People. Why not? Because that is something that's ordained. You might have been ordained to be... Uh, engineer. Uh -huh. That don't mean you was ordained to be a pastor. Mm -hmm. You might have been ordained to be a doctor. That don't mean you was ordained to be a pastor. But I might be. be maybe I didn't find my calling yet. And you that's might what be I'm right. saying. But at this point, you're proving that that's not what it is. Why you so. say that? Because I don't share the same views as you? No. I'm so just why listening. You that? You're, not, you're not there yet. You're, you're not there yet. Okay. That's, you're, that's clear. You, it, 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 from what you say from mm -hmm. your mouth, you're not there yet. Gotcha. Woo! The bigger picture. Yeah, but <laughs> room, room. The man <laughs> said it's gonna be a good yeah, one. Right. When you y'all wasn't expecting this. Like, uh, <laughs> no, and we can move on. Y'all wasn't expecting drama. No, we can move on and, and let's bigger. talk about something else. No, nah, but yeah. everybody's always loved uh, when you interjected these elements into the conversation. It's because just, we all have to find salvation, and we all mm -hmm. are fighting for our salvation and need to work out our salvation with fear Absolutely. and trembling. If you know that there's a God, especially that you say that you know there's a God, and so you have to know that that is a God of order. You know how you know that's a God of order? Because you're made in order. Your body and your, everything is not made out of confusion. That car outside was not made out of confusion. It was made with precise decision, just like your body. Look at this world. This whole world was made in precise decision. Everything has a reason. The grass, the plants, there's a reason for everything. So just alone, before you even get to the Bible, you know what type of God that you're dealing with. You're dealing with a God that is dealing with some form of order. Ah. Make sure you check out that Dr. Umar interview with Bigger. Like, subscribe, yeah. super Woo! thanks, oh, and all so that it, stuff. Because it, it, it's, it, 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 what happened? We, we're going to be doing another one of these. Absolutely. Soon, real soon. Oh, you, you but know, it's, it's, it's a lot of good topics I want to talk about. So, I mean, you yeah. want to get one off before we done, or you want to save it for next time? I mean, it's, it's how long it's been. We ran out of time. All right, right? next time. We'll, we'll, we'll be ready to go. No, we, we done. We, we ran out of time. We can't get no good topics in. No good. I, I, so I, think, we ma I think we maxed out. I think okay. we maxed out. This was very <laughs> right. high-level, concentrated A1 steak. Porterhouse, it's been like an hour and 45 minutes, right? right? Oh, okay. we, we, we gave some, well, this right here, you gave them church. Well, with, <laughs> with that said, yes. with that said, fellas, again, I want you to know I love y'all. Likewise, You know what man. I'm saying? And I want y'all to really try what I said. Of you know course, what I'm saying? Yeah, try to just, just, just try to pray, you know, and yeah, ask yeah. God. Yeah, but, but, but ask God for the understanding of the yes, Bible. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. And reopen it up and look at it. And again, I'm going to point to something understand who Adam is, understand who Jesus is, and if you understand that, you'll understand who Esau is. Can I ask you? I, so I feel it, like I'm Job. If, if you're going to do, if I feel like your conviction can never change. However, I do feel like you should have some level of knowledge of other religions because... Oh, I do. Okay, then. I apologize to that. Oh, I because do. The, I, consolidating that and understanding that while still having your conviction, nobody's going to misdirect you or guide you somewhere else will give you an element that well, none absolutely. of these other individuals and I, have. You know, one of the things that I uh, learned when I studied, mm. they're all flawed except for Jesus Christ. Bigger picture. Like, subscribe, super thanks. <laughs> every, 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 every religion that you name, every person that you name, every leader, every religion that you name is flawed. 
except for Jesus Christ. Boom. Throne room. Bag fuel. Yeah. We are. Royalty. Here. <laughs> Woo!